He's the real-life Iron Man, the mind behind Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, PayPal, and more. He's known to work 20 hours a day, 120 hours a week, and has admitted to sleeping on the conference room table at Tesla just so he can squeeze in a little more work time. This man is Elon Musk. He's worth $170.3 billion at the time of writing this video, and he's been quite vocal about his daily routine. Time to take notes. We've got the breakdown for you right here, from what his mornings look like, to his workday, to even his hobbies. Hey, start implementing some of Elon's methods, and you may find you're on the path to becoming one of the richest. Let's start right at the beginning of the day. For Elon Musk, that starts at 7 a.m. Musk makes sure that he will get six to six and a half hours of sleep each night. Through a bit of trial and error, he found that this is the perfect amount of sleep for him, and he prioritizes it. He was quoted in a Reddit AMA as saying, sleep is really great. I find if I don't get enough sleep, I'm quite grumpy. I could drop below a certain threshold of sleep. Although I would be awake more hours, I would get less done because my mental acuity would be affected. After he's up and moving, Musk usually skips his breakfast he finds that this will save him a bit of time in the morning, but this is not always the case. When he does eat, he makes sure it's a high-protein meal, like an omelet, and he'll have it with a cup of coffee. After that, Elon will take part in what he considers his most important daily routine, a shower. You heard that right. One of the richest men on the planet's secret daily routine is to hop in the shower. He claims that while he's hosing off, that's when some of his best ideas come to him. And believe it or not, there's some science to back this up. Shelley H. Carson, a researcher and psychologist at Harvard University and author of Your Creative Brain, a book all about unlocking your imagination and productivity, has stated taking a bit of time off from a problem is the best way for your brain to find the solution to it. She goes on to say that by focusing on whatever problem is in front of you for too long, you may develop inherent biases, and that will keep you thinking in the same unproductive manner. But doing a simple task like taking a shower and lathering up your hair can spark new parts of the brain, and this in turn can jumpstart some free association in your mind. Before you know it, you'll be more innovative, more productive, and more creative than before when you were a stinky, sweaty mess. And to think, Elon figured this one out on his own. What a guy. Another morning routine for Mr. Musk that is a bit more on the rarer side, but does indeed happen, is physical fitness. Although we do want to point out that when he appeared on Joe Rogan podcast, he confessed to Rogan, I wouldn't exercise at all if I could. Sounds like he's not much of a fan. But he does indeed get out and about. Musk will lift weights, run, and has been known to take part in Taekwondo, Karate, Judo, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Apparently, he likes to dance too, as evidenced by some of his, uh, shall we say, unique dance moves that he has displayed at a Tesla event. Closing out his morning, Elon will see his kids off to school and then drive over to either Tesla or SpaceX, usually in his Tesla Model X, a $79,990 car. Moving on to the midday of this billionaire, we find that he splits his time fairly evenly between his two largest companies, SpaceX and Tesla, with Tesla winning out ever so slightly in terms of weekly hours. For Musk, 42 hours of his week are spent at Tesla, and 40 are at SpaceX. And when he's at work, oh boy, you can bet he's giving it his full focus. Musk has stated he's not as good about his nutrition as he should be, and many times he will scarf down his lunch during an afternoon meeting. Speaking of meetings, Musk hates them. And honestly, we don't blame him. He has his time at work perfectly scheduled out, and meetings? They just get in the way of all the good stuff, like the engineering of his cars, making sure that they look and feel perfect, and also making sure his factories are running as efficiently as possible. Musk hates meetings so much that he has even sent out a list of rules about them to his workers. Large meetings are banned unless they are absolutely necessary. Frequent meetings are a no-no as well, and are only allowed if a matter is urgent. Any and everyone is allowed to walk out of a meeting at any time as soon as they realize Realize they aren't needed. Musk doesn't want anyone to waste their time due to formalities. Finally, there is a ban on acronyms or nonsense words for objects, software, or processes at Tesla. The idea here is that anyone should be able to talk to anyone else in any department, and information shouldn't be stopped just because one department uses jargon that another isn't familiar with. In total, Musk has claimed he works 120 hour work weeks, but boy, does it pay off. On average, per day, Elon will make 380. 83 million dollars. Uh, we're starting to feel like we aren't working hard enough. 
How about you? We feel like we have to say this though. Elon knows he works a bit much. He has gone on record to say, there were times when I didn't leave the factory for three or four days. Days when I didn't go outside. This has really come at the expense of seeing my kids and seeing friends. He's eased up recently, and it's more common for him to do 80 to 90 hour work weeks. But he also said this reduction is temporary. Here's what the end of the day itinerary is for Elon. He'll drive on home to his $50,000 boxable casita home. It's a 400 square foot prefabricated and foldable home, which can be pulled by a Tesla Model X luxury SUV. He confirmed this in a tweet. He said, my primary home is literally a $50,000 house in Boca Chica Starbase that I rent from SpaceX. Once home, he'll be sure to eat a huge dinner. Not necessarily the best way to calorie up, but for Elon, it works. Many times, business dinners are his main source of food, some of his favorite delicacies, French food and barbecue, and Diet Coke. He'll also sip on a whiskey or some wine every now and again. His time at home is also spent with girlfriend Grimes, worth $3 million, and their child. Elon will also watch some of his favorite TV shows, like Silicon Valley and Black Mirror, but he also has stated he loves anime, specifically Death Note. He's an avid gamer, with Cyberpunk 2077, a game that brought in $563 million in total sales revenue being one of his favorites. But he has also tweeted that one and only one console game has stolen his heart, and it was Halo. Other than that, Elon will be sure to read, there are claims that he will finish two books a day, listen to podcasts and audiobooks, and throw the occasional party. We're not sure how big a party he'll manage in his 400 square foot home, but we don't think that will stop him. He once rented a castle in England where the guests played hide and seek. If that's not a way to spend your 30th birthday, we don't know what is. It's lights out at 1 a.m. for Mr. Musk, and then he does it all again the next day. Inspired yet? Gonna try to up your productivity to match Mr. Musk? Well, hold on a second. No need to try and push yourself to be just like Elon. This dude is really one in a million. There are claims that his IQ is as high as 155. To put that in perspective for you, the average person typically will have an IQ of 100, and in the United States, the average is 98. Only a very small percentage of people have an IQ of 130 or higher. So, Elon? Yeah, the man is smart. Like, super smart. But get this. Musk has stated on Joe Rogan's podcast he doesn't believe people would like to be in his shoes, and that it's exhausting. But again, he's worth $170.3 billion at the time of writing this. We think it's worth it. Before we go, we want to leave you with a routine of another billionaire that will leave you scratching your head. Ingvar Kamprad, the former CEO of IKEA, who passed away in 2018, was worth 42.5 billion bucks and was known to drive a $22,000 Volvo that was 15 years old, would fly economy class, and eat at average everyday restaurants. Huh, seems like being a multi-billionaire doesn't mean you have to live like one. Thanks for watching our video. We will see you next time, right here on The Richest.